In today's video, we are going to talk business tourism. What is it? Why do we have it? Why does it matter? I'm going to reveal all today. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Hayley Stainton, and I'm here to teach you all about travel and tourism. In 2017, the world travel and tourism industry contributed more than 10 trillion US dollars to the global economy. Of this amount, business tourism contributed a significant proportion with a total of 1.23 trillion US dollars. Now they're the most latest stats I could find at the time of making this video, but I'm pretty sure those numbers will have gone up before COVID hit, that is. But it'll come back. Modern society, transportation and infrastructure systems continue to revolutionise and therefore business tourism has the means to provide greater economic power than it previously did. But what exactly is business tourism? Business tourism, or business travel, is essentially a form of travel which involves undertaking business activities that are based away from home. The United Nations World Tourism Organization defines tourists as people traveling to and staying in places outside of their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure, business and other purposes, thus making business an important and integral sector of the tourism economy. Business tourism activities include attending meetings, congresses, exhibitions, incentive travel and corporate hospitality, to name just a few examples. In fact, business tourism represents one of the oldest forms of tourism, man having travelled for the purpose of business since very early times. To elaborate, business tourism is a means of travel that takes place primarily for a work-related activity. So why is business tourism important? There is a strong correlation between a country's economy and business tourism. Business travellers are less cost sensitive on their expenditure as they themselves generally devote only a fraction of the cost to the trip. Research has shown that business travellers spend up to four times more during their trip than any other type of tourist. In fact, early research by Davison and Cope discovered that the ratio of daily expenditure by business travellers to that of leisure is generally situated somewhere between two to one and three to one. Therefore, business tourism provides significant economic contributions to the local and the global economy. Business tourism also promotes the development for advanced infrastructure and transportation systems, which also benefits other forms of tourism as well as the local population. Furthermore, business tourism supports the hospitality industry. Business tourists need to stay in a hotel, they need to eat, etc. And this form of tourism also supports leisure tourism, as business travellers tend to combine both activities together. This is often referred to as pleasure tourism. Get it? The combination of business leisure. I didn't make it up. <laughs> so what are the different types of business tourism activities? International exhibitors. Business travellers may travel for the purpose of attending an exhibition. Exhibitions offer opportunities for businesses to connect with the international industry community. The exhibition industry entices two groups of people, those who have something to sell and those who attend with a view to making a purchase or getting some information. Exhibitions come in all shapes and sizes, depending on a person's area of interest or work. I have been to lots of different exhibitions around the world. Some of the big ones in travel include ITB, that takes place in Berlin each year, and the World Travel Market in London. Meetings. Throughout many business excursions, the business traveller will have some form of meeting to attend during the course of their trip. Meetings may be appointments with clients, a board meeting at the present company, or international branches or an orientation meeting with staff at a new branch. Meetings can take place face-to-face, -face, electronically, or it can be a hybrid of both. Whilst the meeting part of business tourism was pretty important, the COVID pandemic has changed the nature of how we do meetings. And I predict that this won't recover to the extent that it was pre-COVID, because why would a company pay to send you halfway across the world to meet with somebody when they know it works perfectly well to just do it on your computer with the click of a button. Corporate hospitality events. Corporate hospitality is a form of business travel that takes place when a corporation invites their guests to attend an event or an organized activity at no extra charge. Corporate hospitality is a valuable tool used by corporations to foster relations, both internal and external to the company, or to brand in influential circles. And if you want to learn more about that, there is a really handy book. Award-winning restaurateur Danny Meyer of Union Square Cafe has published a book that really 
really demonstrates how corporate hospitality can yield tangible and intangible benefits. It's called Setting the Table, the Transforming Power of Hospitality in Business. Conferences. A conference is a formal meeting of people with a shared interest. Conferences may last a day or they may last several days. Conferences are a common area across a number of industries. So for example, I obviously have an interest in travel and tourism, so I've attended lots of conferences all over the world. Thailand, Iceland, Switzerland, all about studying and learning more about the travel and tourism industry. Mice. Often in the business tourism literature, you will come across the term mice. Mice is a reference for meetings, incentives, conferences and events. The term MICE has been recognised as the meeting industry, according to the United Nations World Tourism Organisation. The MICE industry contributes significantly to the wider business tourism sector, and it's becoming increasingly recognised as a prominent part of the industry, beginning to receive growing attention amongst the academic community as, as well as industry stakeholders. Leisure time activities. Business travellers also participate in leisure activities outside of their business commitments. These activities could range from dining out, going sightseeing, and other recreational activities. For example, a couple of years ago, I went to an academic conference in Nepal, and I took my mother-in-law with me and my daughter, and we did lots of exploring. It was fantastic. So what are the benefits of business tourism? Well, there are lots of benefits, actually. Most notably, it brings economic value to the wider tourism industry, as well as the local economy. What many people forget to mention, however, are the benefits that business tourism can have for the tourist. I have travelled many times for business, whether it's when I was working as cabin crew, travelling around the world, going to academic conferences, working overseas as a resort rep, or to undertake consultancy work. And travelling frequently for work can yield many benefits to the individual, such as collecting frequent flyer miles and redeeming these for personal use, becoming a member of a hotel loyalty program and receiving the associated benefits during both work and personal trips, saving money on things like food and drink when attending corporate hospitality events, enhanced networking opportunities that may otherwise be inaccessible, taking advantage of leisure opportunities that you might not otherwise have access to, and enjoying the use of facilities such as gyms or swimming pools that you might not have access to if it wasn't for that business travel trip. So now you understand, I hope, what business tourism is. And if you do, do give me a big thumbs up, by the way. So let's finish off this video by looking at some of the major business tourism destinations around the world. There are a variety of business tourism destinations all around the world. However, this type of tourism is predominantly situated in Western countries. This is mainly because they are developed and they have the means to provide well-equipped resources and infrastructure to make business tourism accessible and thus desirable choices amongst business travellers. According to Agencia, the corporate travel group, the top business tourism destinations are New York, London, Paris, Shanghai, Toronto, Singapore, San Francisco, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Chicago, Dubai, Mexico City, Boston, Montreal, Beijing, Los Angeles, Mumbai, Sao Paulo. So as you can see, business travel is a big and important part of the tourism industry. Now, if you have found this video helpful, please do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up and watch this one. 